Good morning. It is still morning, just. I should have done my workout by now, but I kind of got distracted by other things. Um, pulling out the wallpaper, wallpaper steamer and having a quick look at the instructions, that sort of thing. So anyhow, I am going to be doing the um, arm workout again. Um, I have definitely not lost any pudge <laughs> so I think my couple of little um, eating of the wrong things have definitely had an effect once upon a time I could have done that without any obvious ill effects I mean I'm sure they were still happening I just couldn't see them um, apparently now I can't even eat one small block of chocolate without putting on some extra pudge so the basically back to it um, we'll do the arm workout today and probably tomorrow as well might do a bit of extra something as well um, there's no more sugary stuff in the house so safe from that and um, I've got sock madness coming up again I'm in a team and we know that the next pattern is dropping within the next 48 hours so when that happens, basically I do a lot of knitting. Um, I will still be doing my workouts. I'm not going to let that stop that. But I will probably be fairly sedentary aside from that. Um, which is not ideal, but such is life. So anyhow, we're going to do this workout today. I know Chloe's got more stuff coming up in a few days. Um, assuming that she's fully recovered from COVID. Um, last thing that she posted, she was still having issues with, well, I think she was saying breathlessness, which seems to be a co fairly common thing. Um, there may well be a certain amount of interruption during this from one of our cats, who is currently stropping herself across my legs. Um, and probably wanting attention, but she's the one that the moment you give her attention, all the claws come out. So, now I am wearing a jacket for the workout at the moment. I'll probably take that off as a warm up. It is quite chilly here today, but it is effectively going into autumn. I mean, officially we are in autumn already. So, yeah. Sorry, slightly behind where I should be. I forgot that the weights were hiding under the chair. <laughs> Which they put them there for a reason because they don't want people tripping over them and hurting themselves. But I could definitely put the 2kg ones away, which I will do after this. And after this I will also be doing the prep work for the um, getting the wallpaper off. I probably won't get any actual steaming done today, but I will at least get the um, scoring done with the tiger claw tool so that the next fine day I get where I have time uh, and enough light I can get the steaming started. So I've got some sewing to do as well because if I don't do some sewing I can't tidy up my studio and I really really need to get that done too because at the moment it is a complete tip. Thank you. 
So the jacket I'm wearing is another Me Made. In fact, everything I'm wearing is Me Made today, including the undies. <laughs> So this jacket is the Green Style Lunia, and it's made in a cotton um, quilted stretch fabric. Which is not an ideal fabric because the inner for the quilted part after a few years starts leaking out through the fabric. However, it looks good, so I kinda didn't want to waste the fabric. And I like the fit of the jacket, so it's one that I'll probably make again at some point. So t-shirt is also green style, as are the leggings. In fact, the only thing I'm wearing at the moment that is not me made, apart from my shoes of course, is the socks. Oh jeez. I think the fact that I did this yesterday as well is making this feel heavier. <laughs> So Monday is going to be interesting, we've got all going well, assuming no COVID and um, the weather is fine. We've got the um, builders coming over to repair our conservatory roof, otherwise known as reattaching it to the house, because the roof, all the um, rivets in it have gone. now. We do have a rivet gun, I even know how to use it. But we do not have the setup to keep the roof up where it should be. It really requires the um, big metal poles that they use from underneath to lift it up so that they can actually get on top. So we currently have two pieces of wood holding it up. But they are definitely not ideal. And no, I still haven't found my wrist brace. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
little too close to brick this time, I think. So on Monday, with the work being done, I will still be doing a wear count. I'm just not sure that I'll be recording it because um, I don't want the workers ending up in video that they haven't actually consented to. That would be inappropriate. I will have to check and see when Kylie's next one starts because I will be doing that. Okay, so this lot of push ups I'm going to do with knees. So, Renegade Row I'm also going to be doing on my knees this time, mainly because I think with increasing your weights for, you know, the exercises going out like that, I don't, basically my arms are fatigued. I have quite so much weight on my hands. I can, in fact, do this if I'm on my knees. Alright, so I am going to follow up with 20 squats. Arms are definitely feeling fatigued. I think I may have to do a different workout tomorrow. One that's not concentrating on the arms. Okay, so basically three and a half days. Yep. Where's the measure of the day? 
So that's probably going to be releasing, for me at least, Tuesday morning. Right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. So I'm concentrating on my glutes when I'm doing that. I've got another ten to go. So I'll just do the foot exercises between. So 20 seconds balancing on each foot. I've got a normal clock up there so I can just watch the second hand go around to get my 20 seconds. Okay, so second foot. Pretty sure when I count 20 seconds it takes longer Oops. than actually 20 seconds. Four raises, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm going to do more knees. Two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and the last um, foot exercise, which I believe is actually a sissy squat. So it is working. Lower leg basically. So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, the other thing I'm just going to do, I'm going to do this whole gob. I can do this. So, basically, I'm just going to be lifting up my toes. Which is actually quite hard in these shoes. So basically that one works on um, muscle that runs through here, which is a good thing, because that will help to hopefully not just help with my knees, but also with my feet, I suspect. Um, so it's one that the knees over toes guy does, but he does it leaning against a, a um, wall. But the shoes that he wears um, basically go straight down at the heel. Whereas mine, when they hit the actual floor, I should probably actually, if I just pop you down there, you can probably see. So it goes, and then it goes out at an angle. Whereas his just went straight down. And it had a much thinner sole, which... If I try doing the exercise the way he does it, in these shoes, and in fact most of my um, cross-training type shoes have got the same issue, they all go out like that. If I try doing that um, 
because of the angle there, it's really, really hard to actually pull up your feet. So I am going to have to, at some point, see if I can find a pair of shoes. I suppose it may be more like a barefoot type, because those don't tend to have that built-out sole. Um, and they may be more appropriate for some of the stuff that I'm wanting to be able to do. So anyhow, that is it for me today. I have done the Chloe workout. I have done probably another five minutes or so on top of that with the other workout stuff that I did. So tomorrow I will see you again and I will see about maybe doing a, a slightly longer workout that maybe does lower body or something. Seeing as the arms are definitely feeling it a bit and it is better to sort of work, move things around a bit so you're not doing the same stuff all the time. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.